The message of Thoroughly Modern Millie was that yes, trends come and go, things are modern, but that God's love is eternal and we're supposed to set our eyes on the things that last rather than green glass, things that are fake. Um, you meet more people and you socialize more with people that you usually wouldn't socialize on your regular school day and you make new friends. And something that w I would tell people that want to be in middle school play is, is you just try. You never know what you can do without, without trying to do it. So students presented, they wrote and presented a persuasive speech. They had to choose their topic and had to memorize the speech and present it before the class. Students did an amazing job, uh, better than I could have ever imagined. The purpose of the persuasion speech was to um, get used to speaking in front of crowds. I think people responded well to my speech and it was very encouraging to put like all that effort into a speech and then have people like applaud me and respond that way. Oh, I thought this year the Bahamas trip was amazing. Um, I thought the kids really grew in their faith and um, I think they had a lot of fun. Um, the biggest impression to me was the kids having an experience with, with Christ. Um, I think when we move outside of our daily routine, move outside of having cell phones, move outside of the distractions of daily life and truly get alone with the Lord, um, great things can happen. So our prayer every year on the trip is that the kids have an encounter with Christ. And I think the biggest takeaway for me, whether it was the campfire or whether it was the All Saints camp, um, was the kids had an experience with Christ. My experience in the Bahamas was amazing because I wasn't expecting anything awesome to happen on that trip when I went, but God just totally blew me away. We thought we were gonna be preaching to them, but they began to preach to us. I feel like they taught us that God's love is not based on possessions. It should be based on happiness for the Lord because they had so little and we had so much, yet we were so unhappy and they were so happy with the Lord. My, one of my friends, um, Zach Cahill, he was going in there with his shoes untied and one of the kids there tied a shoe for him. And I think that not only affected him, but affected everyone who watched that.